welcome back guys all right so let's look at inner and outer html okay so we all know what html is html is the content uh, on a web page but we can inspect what kind of html a particular element has by using the inner html attribute or the outer html attribute so now the difference between the two is that, for example, if I have a div like this one, the inner HTML is everything in between here. Okay, so all this I've highlighted here is the inner HTML. The outer HTML of this div is everything in here, the inner HTML, including the item itself. So if I get the outer if I grab this item and say I want the outer HTML, it's going to show me all this, including the element itself. If I want the inner HTML, it's just going to show me the contents of it. Now, something to keep in mind is that an item like this, where it's a div like that, and then there's a closing div like this, this one has inner HTML because it's got a space in between where we can put some content like this. However, an item like an image tag, for example, an image tag is a self-closing tag. It's like this. So this does not have any inner HTML. I'm not sure about the outer HTML. So let's give it a test and see what we will get. Okay. So let's create a variable. I'm going to call this one item. So item is equal to document dot query selector and then what we want to get here is the image tag right so the image tag in the whole document which because we only have one so we're going to get that one so now what i want to do is console.log the item dot outer html so let's see uh, what result we are going to get because I too am curious. So if I refresh my page, you see that I actually get the image uh, text that describes it. Okay. Now let's try inner HTML here, shall we? Inner HTML, come back here, refresh, and it's an empty string. So that's because this does not really have any space to put any content. But if we want to grab this div right there and check the inner and outer HTML, it will be a different story. So let's try and use the ID or let's maintain our system and use the class. Let's just say JS test, something like that. So query selector JS test. Now, always keep in mind that you have to put a dot here for as long as it's a class name and a hash for as long as it's an ID and you leave it like that if it's the tag name but this is the class so we're going to do that so item dot inner html we expect to get that so if i refresh i do get that so let's try outer html like this very nice so we get everything including the div itself okay so this is how you add items to um, this is how you add items to a web page. Now it doesn't mean you, you you can't just get the inner HTML. You can actually tell it what its inner HTML should be because right now we're just reading from it to check what's there. So as you can see now, there's this as the outer HTML as the inner HTML, sorry, which you can see over there. So for me to be able to manipulate that, I just need to grab the same test and then add what I want here. So I will remove all that and just tell it and say item.innerHTML is equal to. So in here, what I want to do is create another, uh, okay, create different content. So I'll just say hi there something like that so let's see that we can change the content of this thing by 
telling it that item dot html is equal to that so let me come back here and refresh and you see that's how you change things okay so uh it's on, not only text we can add here i can actually add a div in here and close it like that and then inside the div i will say this is a div Ooh, sorry there and you can add an item as well uh, an id sorry my id and then we can later on be able to actually capture this div by referring it to the id so not only are we changing this what i want us to do is uh console.log right so what i want to log is the item itself that we've just added something in there and then i say dot children because once we add this it becomes a child of the item so item dot children zero i just want to get the very first child of this item so i'm supposed to get this same div that i have added so the reason I'm reading from it like this, I want to show you that once you add the inner HTML and it's actually valid HTML, it becomes part of the document system, which we call the DOM. So the DOM is called, it's the document object model because every, doc, every item in the document is an object. So it's an object model. So if I now refresh, you see this is a div and now as you can see here, I was able to grab that div using the document model. And then as you can see, the same div has all these properties attached to it. It's got children of its own, child nodes, class name, all kinds of stuff here. Okay, so that's something to remember. As long as you add valid HTML, it's simply going to consider that as valid. All right, so this is one way to create a new element inside uh, your HTML. Now, if you want more uh, control, let's say I just don't want to type this like this. I want to actually create it the normal way. This is one way to do it, but you can do it another way instead of uh, appealing to the, to the inner HTML. So what we could do is we can create a new item so let me just mute this for a second so as you can see now we've grabbed this item with an id like that which is this one and put it in there now what i want to do is create a new div which i will put inside here so you can do that by saying var new item so i'm just naming it new item this can be any text you can put it doesn't have to be that that's just for me to remember what this is for. So new item I can say is equal to document dot create element. So create element is one of the methods that are part of the document model. So document is a child of window. So this info is like this window dot document and so but we can start from document, it's fine. So document dot create element. So create element is a child, uh, it's a child function or a child method of document. So using this, we can create an element. So make sure you add a recognizable tag. So for example, here, I want to create a div. So I'll just do that. So now this new item is a div. So using this, I can give this div an ID, I can say new item dot ID is equal to, I can say new ID like that. So that becomes its ID. I can also say new item dot style is equal to, and then I can put all the styles here. I can say, uh, for example, height 10 pixels. Let's try 100 pixels with 100 pixels, uh, background color. like that now remember that this is not uh 
this is not JavaScript. So you write it the normal way you would write it in the styles land there. So red like that. Okay. So what have I done here? I've created a new div, changed its ID, given it a new style. Okay. This is not going to run. And then uh, what else can we do? So right here on new item, that is done. But if I come here and refresh my page, I don't see that new item. And that's because I actually need to add it to the document in order for it to be here. It's just sitting there in limbo and I need to actually add it. So how do I add it? I have to add it somewhere in the document. So I want to add it to the body. So I'll say document dot body dot append child okay so append child is a function of body now it's not just a function of body it's a function of any item so i can say append child to this i can say append child to that though it will be difficult here because i can't put any children inside the image tag but if i grab a div i can say append child to this and it will append there so even now this is what i want to do i want to append the child to this div instead of appending it to the body of the whole document so i'm just going to copy new item here and say new item or oh, not new item just the old item here so I'll say item dot append child so what child am i appending i'm adding the new item like so okay so a recap first of all we grab the item which is this div then we create a new div from thin air we change its id we give it some styles and then we add it we append it as a child of item so item is this one so we've added a child which is normally in here so let's see uh, what we do, what, what we've done there. So as you can see now, I have created a new item here uh, without using JavaScript instead of actually typing div is equal to and so on and so forth. So while it's here, <clears throat> I can even clone it and create two of them, right? So for example, I can say var clone I'll put my clone like this that way so that you can uh, know that this is this can be any text is equal to new item dot clone so when cloning uh, you you tell it you put a true there to whether you want it to clone the inside as well so if I create a div and it's got other content true will make sure that I clone the content as well so now this clone as well is in limbo. It's not going to be anywhere. So if I refresh the page, oh, so clone is not really a thing. So it's clone node. I think I forgot that. Let me come back here just to make sure. Okay, so that worked. So it's clone node. Now that I have cloned this node, the same way I've added appended to this item, I can also append item dot append child the clone like that so i'm supposed to see two of these items right and there you go <clears throat> it's just that there's a margin so let's add a margin maybe of four pixels so that we can see uh something a separate line you see so there's this one there's the clone now i don't even need to clone it here i can simply repeat this action twice like so and then I'll have two items there. So append child, append child. Oh, apparently that doesn't work because the child is already there. Oh, so my bad. I guess you can't do that. So you'd have to clone it the way I had cloned it uh, much, much earlier. So this is how you can. So let, let's imagine now I want to add some text in the uh, item that I have cloned here. So all I would do is, of course, just change the inner HTML here. So before I add it to the system, so I can just say new item dot inner HTML is equal to hi there, something like that. Okay, 
So let's see if we're going to have some text in there while we add it and you see this high there. Now, while you're appending the in HTML, you could even add another div in there. It's all valid like this. Okay, save. So if I refresh, hi there. But what you don't see is that this is inside a div. I can do that by inspecting the element and then move the inspector over. Let's go like this. So this is the inspector here that shows me the DOM, uh, which is the document model, Do document object model. So as you can see here, the whole thing is inside HTML, and then there's the head. When you click, you see what's in the head, and then there's the body, and then the closing HTML tag. So in here, I can get to see what's inside what. So here, for example, this is one item here and it's got a div inside which we've created and we added high there. So this is an item, that's an item, that's an item, and so on. So that's how the document flow looks like. All right, so that's about inner and outer HTML. What you're supposed to take away from this is that inner HTML uh, brings you the content of the uh, the element and outer HTML brings you the content plus the text of the item itself. And then you can create uh, elements using the inner HTML just by telling it to add to the inner HTML. And also you can change, you can create an element using the create element system instead and then change a few parameters and then append it to whatever item you want to append it to. All right, so I hope you've learned something new here. I will see you in the next video.